Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this iMac mid-2007. This particular iMac is actually the lowest end version of the mid-2007 lineup. Inside it has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor running at 2 GHz, 3 GB of DDR2 memory, however 4 GB is the maximum officially supported amount by Apple, and people have found that 6 GB is actually also supported on this machine as well. We also have a 250 gigabyte spinning hard drive inside, and for the graphics, we have ATI Radeon HD 2400 XT with 128 megabytes of video memory. On the side here, we will also find a super drive. So, let's go ahead and take a look around. Starting at the top of the machine, we will find our microphone, and on the front, we will find our 480p iSight camera. On the right hand side of the machine, we will find our super drive. On the back of the machine at the top we will find ventilation in addition to the Apple logo. Reaching around the bottom left hand corner of the front of the machine we will find our power button. Taking a look at the ports moving from left to right we have audio out, audio in, three USB 2.0 ports, one Firewire 400, one Firewire 800, Ethernet, and mini DVI video out. Taking a look behind the stand we will find our power socket, ventilation for one of the fans inside, and a Kensington lock port. Taking a look at the bottom here we will find our stereo speakers in addition to ventilation and our RAM access door in the center. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Okay so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Here we go. So as I may or may not have previously mentioned, this machine is running macOS or El Capitan 10.11.6 and that's the maximum officially supported operating system by Apple. Of course you can run macOS Sierra on this machine using some patches, but that's not the officially supported version. So here we are running El Capitan and it runs just fine on this machine and still is up to date. It does take a little bit of time to load here, but once we're up and running, that's not much of a problem. You may also notice some lines on the screen, and that's not there in person, that's just the refresh rate of the screen and the camera not really agreeing with each other. And here we are, up and running. So, let's go ahead and take a look at about this Mac. It'll take a second to come up, as it's still loading stuff in the background. And there are some of the previously mentioned specifications of this machine. We can also see the display, storage, and I find it really hard to believe that I have 138 gigabytes of applications on this machine. I wonder what's taking up all that space. That's a very weird. And our memory as well. We have a 2 and a 1 gig stick to equal our 3 that is currently installed, and that's just what I have on hand. But you can of course have a 2 and a 4 to get the maximum amount supported, which is 6. Of course, 4 gig is what is officially supported by Apple, but 6 works absolutely fine. So, Let's go ahead and take a look at Safari, which is still up to date, and runs anything that you throw at it just fine. We'll go ahead and look at Lighting Gallery here. And here we are, loaded right up very fast, not a problem. Of course YouTube works just fine on this machine as well, not a problem. We can see the advertisement at the top is going to run just fine, and that's a nice, decent example. It will run YouTube in HD if you so desire. And basically, any other website that you want to throw at this machine will work just fine as well. Facebook, whatever it may be, it'll all work absolutely fine. And that 
goes for all the other web browsers as well. Firefox, Chrome, and Opera, which isn't currently installed on this machine, all run absolutely fine and are totally up to date. So, all that works great. Here we have Office 2016, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. That is the newest version of Office, of course, but it's also the it's installed on the minimum operating system for Apple, that being El Capitan. You can't install Office 2016 on anything older than El Capitan, so this is really a good test for it. Here we have just a blank document. We'll go ahead and take a look at it here. It takes a little bit of time to load up, but that's not a big deal. And here you are typing away. It looks exactly the same as the Windows version. So we can go ahead and quit Word. And of course Excel and all the other applications here will work just fine as well. Including Photoshop, I don't have that currently installed on this machine, but I had another one exactly like this and it worked just fine on there as well. So. Of course you can use Office 2011, and that works just fine. If you do like using an older version, of course you know 2016 does use a subscription that is monthly or yearly, and using an older version such as 2011, you get to use a one-time uh, product key, and it's good for life, which is very nice. So all these other applications work absolutely fine on this machine. I know Minecraft works because I have tried that out on here, and that works just fine. I know I say everything works just fine, but it does. There's not really a problem with any of it. Of course, this machine is 10 years old now, but it's amazing that it still works as well as it does to this very day. So, it's a great machine for what it is. It works very well. I definitely recommend it. It's probably one of the older or oldest machines that I'd say would be one of the best to still have nowadays because it still is somewhat up to date. It doesn't have the newest, you know, Mac operating system, but it still gets little patches once in a while from Apple. Of course, that'll eventually end, but as of making this video, it's still up to date and works absolutely fine. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video of the iMac 2007 20 inch in 2017. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.